It's been a handful of days since we last worked on the house. It's been a really rainy spring so far. We've pretty much had rain off and on for a week, which makes starting and stopping work challenging because you never know what the weather's gonna be doing in say an hour or the next day. So it's really hard to get into projects, especially projects that are involved. That said, looks like we're gonna have some pretty good weather today. It's just gonna be overcast. We do have rain in the forecast tomorrow as well as the rest of the week, but we think we have a few projects we can check off the list. Last week, the plan was that we were gonna have our wall sips on the ground, oh, today, maybe tomorrow. And at this point, it lo it's looking like, I don't even know if it's gonna happen this week. We were also originally supposed to have our roof sips on the ground this week. And now we talked to our sip company this morning and it looks like those are now three weeks out. While it's frustrating to us that it's taking so long to get our sips here after an extremely long design phase, we do acknowledge that if the sips were here today, we probably wouldn't be installing them because the weather is so unpredictably wet right now. So we're trying to just stay focused on what we can do. Jesse's still working on some inside stuff at the moment. So until we get to working together, I think I'm gonna go ahead and apply the second coat of oil to our roof braces here. As you can see, there is no visible oil on these puppies. These feel bone dry. So that's how much the oil has sunken in. These ones also look like they haven't seen oil yet, but I assure you, they have. I don't know if we're gonna do this today because after oiling these puppies, they might be a little on the slippery side, but we do have our dowels here, or our pegs, so we can go ahead and drill and peg them and assemble them. We also bought most of the hardware we need to install these to the sips. So within a day or two, these puppies will be done. Ready to work? Yeah. I'm stoked, I feel like, I don't know, I'm really, really excited to work today. I think the weather changed a little bit and we got a little bit of rest and we had a little time together yesterday. So I feel like now it feels good to work. Yesterday, Oil me timbers, check it off the list. It's not on the list. Must put it on the list to check off the list. So you got our sip shoe lumber off the trailer. No, you uh, backed the trailer up. It's ready to go, yeah, I got it all, yeah. Do you wanna work on pulling the string through the conduit next? Yeah, that's actually more important because- Because they... like, what if we get power today? What if they show up, we have to be ready. We know the sips aren't coming for a while, but power, power yeah. could be here any day. We'll give you a couple of, we're on our way. We're coming right now. We'll be there in 15 minutes. Like, yeah. So yeah, we better go get that done. Just check it off the list. And then let's see, I've got a couple other things checked off the list. So I think it's, it's kind of one of those days where it's like punch, 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 punch. Mm -hmm. Done, 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 done. We're gonna need some extension cords, and we're gonna need our shop vec. Last time I tried to pull string through conduit, it was very, very terrible. But once she went, she went. We're also gonna need a little plastic baggie, so 
I really hope this is a project, not, whoa, not a project, if you know what I mean. So our goal is to suck a string 550 feet or something, 530 feet. Do you think we could, well, do you think it'll be easy? I think it will be. We'll have to see. I have an idea for the string roll that I think will make it way easier. Do you think we will literally put our espresso machine out there? Yes. At the pedestal? <laughs> I think if you just mm. hold the string mm. like that, it, in theory, what will probably happen is it'll probably go like, kaboosh, and it'll go like that. You know, I don't like, think it's going to be oh, that strong. I think, think so? okay. we're going to have to unravel 500 feet of that. Well, I think you can like help it like this, right? Maybe, so, we could try it. I think if you give it a little help, but it's like an icicle or like a popsicle. So the important question is, do you want to be the giver or the receiver? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to be the string end or the suction end? Right, exactly. <laughs> um, I will be the suction end. Okay, I guess I'll be the string end. Aw, uh, Jesse got the four-wheeler ready to go for me. Thanks, love. Have fun without me. I will. Hope I remember how to drive this thing. Me too. We actually have two strings that we need to pull. This one is the one Alyssa is gonna go to right now. I made it! All right. And then we actually have another one that comes up at the pedestal that goes to the back of the property. So we need to pull strings twice. Is there a conduit sticking up out of the ground over there or did they leave it in the ground? <sighs> the conduit is sticking up like did they come and put the new power pole in then? I have no idea. Yeah, the condo it has all sorts of like power lines going into it. There's some paint markings near the pedestal, and there's also a meter ring right there by the pedestal. So I think they actually did maybe come out and do that part and they're just waiting to pull the wire maybe. Uh, so what I think is going on is that, that none of that's changed uh, and that's our neighbor's power. I think ours is just uh, dead ended oh, you think? in the bottom here. Uh, may need a shovel. Yeah that's kind of what I was thinking. I didn't bring my gloves or anything. Yeah, I'll go get a shovel. Okay. Is that the end? Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so, yeah, you ain't getting a shot back right there on this side. No way. Nah. <sighs> I think I am ready, let's try it. Oh hey, wow, look at that. Huh, that's pretty dang satisfying right there. Ooh, holy crap. Whoa, Nelly. It's going, it should be there soon. It's working like crazy well. Are you done?
let me pull it out this side. Oh wow, <laughs> pulled a bunch of dirt out. Ooh, that's one way to clean your conduit. Nice, yeah, that went really fast. I'm shocked, I expected it to be a complete pita. Every once in a while we're pleasantly surprised, just don't get used to it. Do you want to go ahead and do the second conduit um, on the back side of the property? Oh, you want to just walk to the back side? It'd be fun to do. Well, I can't take yeah. the new trail because there's stuff in the yeah, way. Yeah, not from this side. So, I can just walk, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Better leave this here than over there on the road. Yeah, just leave it here. Yep. So. Okay, sounds good. This one doesn't even have duct tape on it. Okay, I think I'm ready. All right, I'll fire up the vacuum. Wow. Shazam. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hurry, use solar power. Hurry, hurry while the sun's out. We want to start the shoes. Yeah, let's make a plan and then we'll do that. Bugaboo, what are you doing? Bugaboo, did you find a cabana? Did you find a cabana? Hmm? Where you can sleep in the warm spring sun? Hmm? Do you like spring? Is it your favorite season? Bugaboo, I'm gonna bet mom five bucks I find you sleeping underneath our flooring one of these days. You know what feels really weird is it's a beautiful spring day and it feels like it would feel good to rest, but it feels so wrong to rest because all I see work. is work. And I feel like today is like a hard mental day because we feel like the sips should be here. We should be hard at work on our sips. Today would be one of those days. In all fairness, the weather tomorrow is gonna to be complete garbage. I think it's mentally hard because we have so many projects that are like in limbo. I'm trying to get my pilot license, which is in limbo. Like I can't fly today because there's no instructors. We can't get power today because there's load limits. And we can't put our sips on because they're not here. So it's frustrating. I mean, we still have work to do to be ready. So there's that, which is kind of keeping our mind off of it. But I think mentally it's getting to be a bit of a grind. Oh, oh. Oh, what's that? Mom's gonna snag him. Ready? Oh, yeah. Zoop. Dinkle. Dinkle, stay. Oh, I'm sure he'll cuddle till you're darn good and ready to give up. No, oh, I think he's just content. He wants to explore. Hey. He wants to go around and mark stuff, I'm guessing. Goodbye. Okay, what you doing in there? Shake, shake, shake. Bugaboo thinks we should do the insulated headers next. He's inspecting them for quality. Actually, that's I'm trying to get on something meow for those folks who don't know. And he's on it now. So all of the 16s and six of the 12s go up top. like we need to make a spacer. So these shoes are going to be one inch um, off of our rim board. And that's half an inch for sheetrock, which we're going to put on the frame first. And then seven sixteenths with a sixteenth extra for the sip inner skin.
I'm not sure what we did to get you with no safety glasses, but we'll work on that next time. Just edited it. Oops. That's a good one for me, his and hers. Yeah, that'll I'll do. I'll give you the better one. Yeah, just double check them. I mean, wow, that's really good. That's so just remember to have the rough side up. Sounds like a plan. Not the cut side, because that's not an inch. Right, okay. Well, the snow has completely melted finally. And all of the wonderful people who helped us with our concrete pour, their handprints are showing again. Thinking of you guys, if you're watching this video, you know who you are. Of course, there are many other hands who didn't make it into the concrete who helped us as well. We very much appreciate your help. We've had a rafter offcut that we've been carrying with us for months. And every time we run into or connect or do lunch or meet up with somebody who's been a part of the build, we try to get their autograph on the block. We're hoping it'll make a great conversation piece on the coffee table once this beast is done. So we need to put a little bit of thought into how the shoes are going to go because the order of installation will affect how the shoes get aligned. For example, this north wall will be coming down the wall with sips, coming down the wall with sips, and somewhere in here, we're gonna run out of sips, somewhere in this eight inch area. It'll probably be within one inch of the edge of this post, roughly. So we'll have lots of contact, but we wanna have the shoe probably, um, well, I guess it would be on the edge of the rim out here. And then what'll happen is we'll start the west wall clear out here, and then we'll start going that way. And the same thing will happen. We'll get clear down to the south side, and somewhere on that post down there, we're gonna run out of sips. I think we should kind of install the shoes the way we'll install the sips. So we should start in the southeast corner and then we'll work our way to the north along the north side and then along the west side heading back south and then we'll do the garage area and it'll make the most sense. Yeah, so this sill will extend eight and one quarter inches past the edge, the south rim, because that's where this sip on the south wall will meet the sip on the east wall. The reason that the sip will, will not collide is that the south sips will be coming along here and they'll actually run out approximately one inch on this post. So there will actually be a one inch gap between the east sip and the south sip and we'll fill that gap with foam. Okay, so I will hold the level extending that rim if you want to measure uh -huh. this way from okay. this face of the level and make tick marks okay okay so next let's go ahead and put our spacers, spacers in and they go rough side up oh thanks okay coming my way okay come to me about an inch um, quarter inch, good, right there. Yeah, Alyssa just made a good point. I forgot to mastic. Oops. Good exercise. Um, before you do that, I'm worried that we've got too much gunk. I don't know. Like this is all blown up right here, yeah. so maybe we ought to grab something and just scrape uh, all that. Your pocket knife. Mac hammer? No. Probably a chisel. I think this is going to be a lot easier than when we did our sill extensions. That was challenging because we had two by fours cantilevered out and we were trying to hold them level with the rest of the sills. So the inside dimension of our sips are 
seven and a quarter and we just measured these and these are actually seven and a half so we gotta unscrew this one and rip them down yeah yep. on second thought we're gonna make it the executive decision to not worry about these sip shoes until the sips are here because now that we have to rip every single board down we don't know that that's gonna be the actual dimension maybe it's seven and a half after all maybe it's six I don't know we have a pretty bad track record with products not being what they're supposed to be so since this is a pretty small project there's really no reason to not wait until the sips on the ground so we can measure them and for the two that we already screwed and glued I guess we didn't screw this one yet we're thinking we could just use the circular saw and rip it to whatever dimension we need yeah I, I just I don't I don't know I don't trust anybody I don't why do products even have dimensions why don't we all just go to the building store and measure it for ourselves and I'll tell you what the dimensions are because so far Everything we buy is not the dimension it's supposed to be. I'm not willing to make double work. So let's just wrap this up and yeah. Find a new project. Or work on something else. Well, we got that screwed down. We're gonna clean things up. I think have some dinner and then we might kind of work in the garage a little bit. We have a lot of organization that we need to do. We've have, we have a lot of uh, shelving units that we've had for a while that we'd like to get set up that'll help us to kind of tear down some of the stuff that we've kind of had permanently set up in the garage that's really only there because we use the tools fairly frequently we don't have anywhere to store them except for at storage so we would have to come and get them every time we need them i think we're kind of at a i don't know what the word is like we're in a holding pattern i guess for sips we are still waiting today. We have not heard back when they will arrive, which is what makes us think they're not coming this week. Not trying to be dramatic, just realistic. I think we've kind of come to the conclusion that this is our experience with sips. <laughs> Doesn't matter how hard we work, um, we're just waiting on somebody else. She's good. Good. Things that peg your fun meter. So I was putting tools away and it dawned on me that the spacers that we were using, we had agreed that the rough side was up on the spacers. Well, turns out one of the boards had two rough sides. <laughs> so it kind of made us want to come back and just check that our one inch from the rim gap was correct. And it's not. It's not for a lot of reasons. It's not just because the spacer wasn't correct. So we thought we would just see if we could pull those shoes back off and maybe scrape the mastic off, and we did. It worked. Part of the challenge here is the visqueen that's covering the platform is making it really difficult to see the rim board. The rim board is a little swollen because it's been wet for a long time. So it's very hard to see what you're doing. I mean, putting a one inch spacer on either end of the shoe and hoping it's one inch all the rest of the way well wouldn't that be ideal so that's kind of where we're going to leave it um, we can't uh we can't just leave all this pressure treat sitting up here stuff is notorious for being dimensionally unstable if i'd have known we weren't going to do the shoes uh today i wouldn't even have bought this stuff i would have just left it at the lumber yard and we'd have got it another day but we own it now so we're gonna sticker it really quick to somewhat protect our investment. And then, and then, I think we're done for today. There were signs early on today that today was gonna be like this. There were just signs and it's kind of been like this all day. 